Hi friends, this is Kaushik Raja Mukavalli. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the internal architecture of the 8085 microprocessor. It is basically divided into 5 important sections. Digital section, ALU, timing and control unit, interrupt control, serial input output control. Coming to the register section, it consists of WFS and ZFS, which are user denied registers. Coming to the general purpose registers, it consists of 6 registers and 3 register pairs. B, C, D, E, H, L are the individual registers. When they are together used, they are called as register pairs. It consists of 3 register pairs. B, C, D, E, H, L are called register pairs. Coming to the special purpose register, stack pointer. Stack pointer points to the top address of the memory location. Program counter. Program counter tells about the next address location. Accumulator. Accumulator register is used to store the data temporarily. Temporary register. Temporary register is used to access one of the operand. Flag register. Flag register tells about the status of the ALU operation. For our easy convenience, flag register we have mentioned here. It consists of a 5D flip-flops and 3 undefined bits. It consists of a sign bit, 0 bit, auxiliary carry bit, parity bit and carry bit. Carry bit is set to 1 when there is a overflow of bit from D7. Parity bit. When there are even numbers of 1s, parity bit is set to 1 or else it is set to 0. Auxiliary carry bit. When there is a overflow of bit from D3 to D4, auxiliary carry bit is set to 1 or else it is set to 0. 0 bit. When the result of ALU operation is 0, 0 bit is set to 1. Sign bit. When the most significant bit D7 is set to 1, then sign bit is 1 or else it is set to 0. Coming to the instruction register. Instruction register consists of the opcodes which are understood by the machine. Coming to the timing and control unit. It consists of X1 and X2. X1 and X2 are the clock frequencies which are set to 3 MHz by using a crystal oscillator of frequency 6 MHz. Clock out. Through clock out timing and control signals of the peripheral devices are controlled. Ready pin. When there is microprocessor is ready to transfer the data between the input, output and memory. Ready pin is set to 1. Coming to the control signals. Read, write and ALE are called as control signals. RD refers to read, WR refers to write, ALE refers to address slash enable. Read and write are the active low signals. Read signal is used to read the data from the IO and the memory. Write signal. Write signal is used to write the data into the IO and the memory. ALE, address slash enable. It consists of the lower bits of the address. A0 to A7 is multiplexed with the data D0 to D7 and it is togetherly called as AD0 to and AD7. When lower signal is obtained, applied, address is used. When higher signal is obtained, a data is used. Coming to the SO and S1. S0 and S1 are called status signals. S0, S1. When S1 and S0 are 0, 0, HLDA is accessed. When S1 and S0 are 0, 1, read operation takes place. When S1 and S0 are 1, 0, write operation takes place. When S1 and S0 are 1, 1, awkward fetching takes place. IO and IO slash memory bar. An IO slash memory bar is set to 1. I read and write operations through input output memory takes place. When IO slash M bar is set to 0, read and write operation through memory devices takes place. Coming to the DMA, DMA consists of a hold pin and HLDA pin. For example, let us take some operations are performed and master device need the access of the hold pin. Then the remaining two operations are set to hold and the acknowledgement is set to the hold pin. Reset pin, it consists of a reset in and reset out. Reset in, it resets the internal clock frequencies of the microprocessor and it sets the program counter to zero. Reset out, reset out, it resets the clock frequencies of the external devices connected to the microprocessor. Now coming to the serial input output control, it consists of SID pin and SOD pin. SID refers to the serial input data pin, SOD refers to the serial output data pin. Serial input data pin is used to receive the data from the device which is connected to the microprocessor. Serial output data pin, it is used to give the data to the devices which is connected to the microprocessor. Interrupt control, interrupt control is the last section of internal architecture of 8085 microprocessor. Interrupt control consists of INTR. INTR is a general purpose request to the microprocessor and it based on the priority it executes. INTR is an interrupt acknowledgement. Interrupts are basically classified into three categories. Maskable and non-maskable, vectored and non-vectored, software and hardware. Maskable. Preventing the main program from the external signals is called maskable. When the interrupts from the input output to the memory are the maskable, then they are called maskable interrupts and they can be ignored. If they cannot be ignored, they are called non-maskable interrupts. Trap is an example of the non-maskable interrupts. In daily, in daily use, when, the, when we are using a system, when the power goes off, it is an example of the trap. Software hardware interrupts. The example of the software interrupts are restart 0 to restart 7. Hardware interrupts. Except INTA, remaining all belong to the hardware interrupts. Vectored, vectored and non-vectored interrupts. Vectored interrupts. If an interrupt has an address location, it is called vectored interrupts. 
if an interrupt doesn't have an address location, this is called non-vector interrupts. Except INT are all vectored interrupts. Thank you guys. If you like this video, subscribe for smart student.